Beja is a charming little town located on a hillside 105 kilometers from the capital of Tunis, but it's a town that has seen a number of monumental battles from the Punic War through to World War II. Today it will be a battle of a different kind, but you can still expect it to be brutal as Tunisia hosts Zimbabwe in round four of the Rugby Africa Gold Cup. Bilal Sukar. And now Sukar in that scrum half position gets a pass away to his, forward, his fellow loose forward Zegdene. And now a long pass over the top, but it's been intercepted. And the referee has brought them back for that earlier advantage. Well, Zimbabwe weathering that storm very well from the Tunisian. They go quickly with Sabri Gamir and uh, find their way to the try line. First try for this Tunisian team. They open their account with a very physical carry from the loose head. And uh, Tunisia on the board for the first time, 25 minutes into this half. Yeah, it's taken a couple of visits into the 22 of Tunisia, but finally Mohamed Mliss goes over. The toy again to Tambuera. Tambuera opting to looking for the gap, and Tambuera finds the gap very, very nicely. And Tambuera goes over with a terrific dive as well. The scores are level with the conversion to come, an absolute delight rather for the Sables. Well, they open their account in spectacular fashion from that man, Linian Stambur, a powerful carry through the midfield. Again, they're just keeping it close, keeping it with the forwards, allowing the big men to try and work it up before spreading it wide. And now it does come out wide for the back line. Mandi Venga with a good little run gets the ball float away as well. And this will be a second score for Zimbabwe. The first points of the second half as well, and Zimbabwe all of a sudden with a nice healthy lead. Well, it's just a brutal assault on the Tunisian line from Zimbabwe, and it was Brandon Mandivenga. Akhraf Tif now to his fly off Gafsi. Good hands into the hands of Ike Mokni, but stolen by Zimbabwe again. And the handling mistake coming from uh, Zimbabwe, but advantage being played for this Tunisian side. The good step on the inside, and this will be a score for Isam Wirani. And Tunisia are right back in this game. Absolute delight for the home side. They found their voices, and all of a sudden they believe that they can pull off a victory. Here. Well, the game's just opened up, Johan, in the last five or ten minutes. It's almost a response to Zimbabwe's last try. A lot of quick tap penalties from Tunisia. A lot of unforced errors from both sides. And Al Gafsi has found his kicking boots as well. He puts Tunisia back in the lead in the second half. It's a one-point ball game in the final 20 minutes. Eats up a few more seconds. Strong scrum coming from uh, Tunisia. A drop kick attempt. It's good as well. Mohamed Al Gafsi has slotted it. The referee has blown his final whistle. And what a phenomenal result here in Beja for the home side. Tunisia have picked up another victory over Zimbabwe. The full time score here in Beja. Another historic victory for the home side. It's Tunisia 18, Zimbabwe 14.